we're at the airport and after a perilous journey through security we have arrived at our gate i well i was gonna say i haven't been to this airport in a while but i actually was back here in july you haven't been here in a bit yeah when were you here in july when i went to dallas oh so we're sitting at our gate well our gate is over there and we're just hanging out here before our flight we started we're starting this vlog at the airport because literally this week has been such a whirlwind yeah we haven't even been able to get ourselves into the mental headspace that we're traveling and this is like a vacation and we're celebrating your birthday like we just had way, way, way too much going on in succession, in close succession, like especially for it being the beginning of 2024. And now it's already January 12th and we're about to go to... What? I feel like it won't even hit when we're there. No, it won't. Because even when we went to Italy last time, it didn't When we went hit. to Rome, we thought we were on like a movie set. We yeah, were like, this is like, not real. Like, when are the extras going to show up? But it felt real when we were in London, which was odd. Yeah. So, much I don't, to think about. Yeah, we're really tired though for some reason, and we don't know if we're gonna be able to sleep on this flight. So, basically, the flight is. What's the time? <laughs> what's the time? So, it's 2.52 right now, and the flight takes off at 5.30, but boarding starts at 4.40. So, yes, we got here really early, but it's an international flight. So, we're literally just gonna sit, read our book get coffee maybe but also we want to sleep on this flight i don't know what we're gonna do and then we don't actually know what if we're gonna be fed on this flight and if we are being fed on this flight what meal we're gonna get so we have to figure out whether we're gonna buy something before <sighs> i don't know i'm exhausted okay so we have to tell the story of our currency exchange so everybody knows that the Currency exchange at the airport is like extremely, extremely upcharged and it's not accurate off. to the market, to the foreign exchange market because they need to get money, right? We're expecting it to be like, you know, a little bit more or like we're, we know that we're going to get less money back, right? And we're expecting that. But I go over to the currency exchange and I hand over 80 US dollars. I'm like, okay, how much is this going to be in euros? And she goes... 50 euros. 50 euros. How much is it in... How much is the actual thing? It was like, like 70, 68, yeah. 72 Because it's pretty like close. The way my jaw dropped. So we literally just... there. We didn't have another choice. Like, we need cash. We, we lit our money on fire. We lit our money on fire. So now we have to use every last euro in Milan or Florence. Yeah, because... And there's a bird. Oh yeah, there's a bird. <laughs> That's us after we found out all our money is gone. <laughs> yep. So anyways, we're waiting at the gate now. It's boarding time. De er øh, rapporteret sådan lidt forskellige, og det kan godt give os en lille smule turbulens i ny og ned. Connecting flight. All right, we were running, running, and got here right on time, right as they were boarding. Now we're on the flight, and, and we we're sitting right next to each other. Yeah, right? accidentally they booked us right next to each other. We okay, clearly. Wow, I look really rough. Uh, we slept two hours, if that. Um, and yeah. we're definitely not going to sleep on this flight, so. Yeah, we we had A and C, and we thought that somebody was going to be seated in between us, but we're next to each other. So that's cute. We're just excited to land in Italy. I'm so tired. Yeah. <laughs>
day. Give us an outfit of the day. Um, we have some jeans. Where are they from? Uh, goo. Goo. A shirt. Old Navy. Blazer. Old Navy. Okay. Jacket. Old Navy. Uh, yeah. Shoes. Adidas. I have Uniqlo. Old, Old Navy. Navy. Old Navy. And Fila. I've only come to Milan once before, which was literally this time last year. And I use the subway system, so I'm kind of familiar with it, but also most subway systems are like the New York City subway system. Like the tube is very similar. We didn't use the public transportation system in Rome because we were too scared to. <laughs> but now we're here. Now we're pros. And we have to because I have an injury, so I can't be walking 40 minutes. Exactly. So, we're at the subway, underground metro, and we're going to the Duomo. pay for a lift. Somehow we ended up climbing all the stairs and to this place to eat because we were super super hungry and we haven't eaten all day literally all day we haven't eaten when's the last time we did eat i had apples like early this morning that lunch juice is the last thing i had and that was that so we're getting food and my nose is so red my hands are also so red it's very cold but well, this is what, what we have so far a sports has prosecco yeah it's gonna be good it's even sour. 
Oh my god, that pesto. What if it only be cash? Then we just gotta deposit all the cash. back at the hotel okay literally our room is insanity right now because we're only staying one night and we had to leave to get to our tickets for the duomo but i am going to do a little hotel room tour so this is the bathroom the shower is in there and then you go this way here's our bed and then there's like a little closet thingy, a mirror, a TV, a desk, and that's it. We went shopping um, at the area around the Duomo after we had dinner. And Akka got some, a sweater from Bershka. After the Duomo, we were, actually while we were still inside the cathedral, we were actually like, going delusional because we hadn't eaten anything and so we were like we need to get food inside of us as soon as possible or we might like die so <laughs> we went to this restaurant um i took some clips and it was so delicious delicious it was very clearly for tourists so um but honestly we just needed a place that was good and quick and the price was amazing we got we each got a drink we got an appetizer two pastas and a dessert um, all for how much was it, Akka? Like 50 euros. Mm hmm So, I feel like that was successful, but we went shopping after that, walked around. Now we're back at the hotel room. We have to wake up early tomorrow because we have tickets very early to take the train to Florence, which is where we're spending the next part of our trip. So, we needed to come back and lay because we've gotten, like, no sleep. And then we're going to pack all of our stuff up and probably go to bed pretty early between like 8.30 and 9. That's a wrap on day one of Italy. We're saying goodbye to our hotel room. It is 6 a.m. And we've been up since 6.50. 6.50, we've been up since 5. So we are about to take the train to Florence. I had a brief um, stint where I was awake. I'm like... 12.30 to 2 a.m. Yeah, I was knocked out. I was like, ah. Oh, tiny. Oh, you gotta make sense for it. We got chocolate croissant and a sandwich for breakfast. It's good. Mm -hmm. because we were at a coffee shop in the train station and you had your phone there and then we got up and went up the escalators to go to this other place to get water and at the place where I was buying water she was checking to check to see if we had the tickets because we're on the train right now to go to Florence and between that place and like 30 seconds we went up another set of escalators to get to where like the train platform is within that time period 
Oh, my pockets are light. And the second we got off the escalator, you pulled your phone out again to check the tickets and they were gone. I tried to check. Yeah, 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 tried to pull it. Um, then I went into abject panic. And I ran, I was running. People were staring at me. I was running through the train station trying to get to the coffee shop to check. And I was really hoping that she had just left it at the coffee shop. And they didn't have it. And then, and then, and then the terror really set in. And we literally just like were running around this train station trying to find. Meanwhile, our train was coming in like 15 minutes. Yes, yeah, so we were like also didn't have a track and we're not really familiar with this train station. So we were like, okay, we need to find where the train is. We weren't gonna like stay in Milan and miss this train, unfortunately, yeah. because and the problem is that it's sad that we had to leave Milan so quickly. Because if we had at least, like, we weren't rushing to get on the train, we could have spent more time looking for it. But at that point, like, when it's stolen, it's stolen. It's gone. I knew in the instant it happened, I knew. Because it's not like in America, you know, when you, like, leave the phone somewhere, there's a fairly decent chance that someone's going to, like, pick it up and take it to the front desk of wherever you are. Like, here, your phone got it. Um, anyway, so I'm incredibly upset. I We tracked the person. We, like, called the phone. The messages are going through. And the, and the phone FaceTime calls. is going through. The, fa the phone calls on WhatsApp are going through. So everything on Wi-Fi is going through. But obviously they're not answering. And so for a while we weren't able to track the location. It just said it was still at the train station. So we were like, okay, they must have turned the phone off. But then... It updated. Yeah, and she put the phone on lost mode. So the second it hit, it, um, it got internet access, it updated the location. And the location was at some, like, restaurant or, like, some area that was, like, a little bit away from the train. Like, the phone clearly moved. So yeah. they turned it back on. And so I, like, was FaceTiming the phone, texting it, because I was like, maybe if they answer the FaceTime, I can take a screenshot <laughs> of, like, if somebody answers and then send it to the police. I mean, I don't know what this protocol. But she... I took all my cards off of yeah. Apple Pay. I erased the device so that there's, like, nothing on it. Everything is, like, two-factor authenticated already to the boot. Like, it took us a million trillion tries to even get into my account, like, on, on my her phone. phone. Yeah. Um, Faces have just been like this the whole time. I, I know, like, I shouldn't be so connected, but I feel like someone cut my arm off. But also, like, it's just the injustice of it. Like, who steals... Well, what are you going to do with those stolen phones? And she turned everything off. There's nothing on there. You can't even get into your bank account or anything. <laughs> also, my passwords are, like, kind of complicated. Yeah, you actually have really complicated passwords. Yeah. You have very complicated passwords, thank goodness. So... I'm just really upset because now um, I don't get to listen to music. No entertainment, no, no books. No. On my eight-hour flight back, I just have to, I don't know, stare. I do have my, my e-reader, so like I guess I'll just read the, the entire time. Yeah. And we have so much more of this trip to go, and it's like you're trying to stay optimistic that... I'm trying. I'm well, really like, excited. enjoy the rest of it. No, she handled it so much better. I would have freaked out. No, I, I did, and then I very quickly was like, I know exactly what's happened. And I'm terribly upset. We called our parents, even though it's like 2 a.m. We, we woke them up at like 1 in the morning. Our dad. Yeah, and our mom was there too, which was the sweet end. Oh, our mom was there? Yeah, she was there too. Okay, well, yeah, so they're going to go to the Verizon store and try to get it, like, completely just like the phone is shut down we did erase the phone um, remotely from iCloud but we just want to make sure that if if there's anything that Verizon can do to make sure that there's literally no way anybody can get into the phone it's being done and then the second we get picked up from the airport I'm we're getting eating. a new phone I can't I can't I can't it's crazy and you just got a new laptop too thank god but like we didn't bring our laptop thank god thank god <gasps> yeah. anyways so we've just been like staring into the distance being incredibly upset. I'm just like so upset because this is a, her birthday trip. We're supposed to be- I also had a really terrible week last week and the week before. Yeah, so we were like looking forward to this vacation to be like really fun and like relaxing. And I guess it is gonna be relaxing because you're gonna be super unplugged, but like I'm not gonna be using my phone in solidarity because- <laughs> like, Which you don't have to do because no. I want to use your phone. No, you can use my phone, but I will not be like, while you're sitting staring, I'm not gonna be like on TikTok or like, you know, like I- Well, we can watch together. I just, I'm just upset because why- like, I don't mean to sound like we're complaining because we're really, 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 really privileged and grateful to be able to even and travel. Thank God it wasn't my 
your wallet, wallet your passport or anything like that like we're so privileged to be able to do this and like just at the same time it's like still so deeply upsetting that like why is it that we go on a trip we want to relax we want to have fun and then this happens like can we not just have a relaxing like good time why does this have to happen it's like i'm so angry at the injustice of it like who steals no i can't even we thought we would update because we haven't recorded in a while but we are on the train to florence we found the the train and we got tickets like the premium tickets so they gave us water bottles and snacks and stuff for the ride but we're actually going to yeah, we're like 40 minutes away, so we're just yeah, we're hanging out, being sad a little bit. But hopefully, things will get better and we'll realize that it's not hopefully as bad as we think it may be. At least we have one phone. Like, yeah. we can at least contact this our parents. Phone, I swear to God, this phone is like getting strapped. I'm putting it inside my bra. Like, no one is taking this phone. It never is going in your pocket. It's going like straight up, like it, chastity belt style. No, I'm like with a key that you need to. Okay, well, moral of the story is, guys, never put your phone in your pockets. Any of them, keep it in a bag, safe away. Like with lock and key. Because we never thought it would be us. All right, people, we got to Florence. We knocked out, took a crazy, crazy nap, and kind of contemplated what had happened thus far in our day. Um, and then we got to our hotel, which is the Hilton, right next to the, univers right next to the university. Um, we took a tram here, which was cool. Um, and now we're venturing out. It's already almost one. We haven't eaten since breakfast at um, like 6 a.m. 6 a.m.? 6, 7 a.m. We're really, really hungry. So we're going to go to the downtown area-ish. We're going to have some lunch. We're going to go to the Duomo. We don't have tickets to see the inside, but we're going to see the outside. And then we have tickets to the Pitti Palace at 3 or 3.30. 3. Okay, yeah. So we got to get going. Yeah, so we got to get going soon. My hair got really frizzy and like wavy from when I tried to straighten it this morning. Our converter didn't work, so I was scared that the blow dryer that we brought was going to like die. So it's kind of straight, but it also got wavy. I don't know. We're gonna work with this hair. Um, my sister's black turtleneck, these old navy jeans, and then my sneakers. And we bought this Tory Burch perfume specifically for this trip. So we're wearing that. And then I'm gonna do a hotel room tour after. Um, actually, I was done getting dressed. <laughs> Our hotel, as you can see, is in shambles right now but they left us these two chocolates which is so cute i'm gonna have one right now are you gonna have one yeah i'll have one fit check you can't even see like the it's cable knit yeah it's really really cute and really warm and i'm wearing a black shirt under too and then heat tech under here as well and what's your outfit uh, i got this yesterday Bershka. At Bershka because Malu has one like it from Uniqlo that I always borrow. That I wore yesterday. Yeah, that the video so saw. I was like, I really want one. These and are jeans. Malu's jeans from Princess, Princess Polly. I like the cut of them. Mm -hmm. and I've been trying to find a pair to match for myself, but I haven't. And these shoes. Adidas shoes. Yeah, because... those are the only shoes that I can wear in the state. Um, and we just retouched our makeup. Mm -hmm. And that perfume literally smells amazing and it stays on all day last year so we heard that you should have like a different scent for every time you go to a different vacation spot so it reminds you of the place and now every time we smell juliet has a gun we think of london which is what we want um but we bought this one for our trip and it smells so good and it sticks on all day it juliet kind of has a gun kind of went away after a couple hours this one i smell even at the end of yesterday this one is kind of interesting um i forget what it smells good though. It's kind of like citrusy. Yeah, it's really citrusy and it gives me a feel of like Italy. Yeah. We, this 
started raining in the tub. So, and as you can see, my hair got even more frizzy. So we are gonna grab some. We are having a light lunch because we're actually having dinner soon at an yeah, at a really like well-known place. Um, so we're having a light lunch, and obviously had to get red wine. Um, and then, I don't know what we're gonna do after this. Oh, Pity, pity Palace. Um, but it's also raining, so. Hacking the public transportation system. By hacking, I mean we're using it finally. <laughs> Compared to before, where we were determined not to use it because just we just walk everywhere. Yeah. So we just got to the Pitti Palace, the gallery. We're so excited. This part of Florence is so pretty. It's so pretty. But also the bus ride was kind of crazy because like the streets are so narrow. Like the back cobblestone streets? Yes. We and were bumping and... Also the buses are tiny here compared to like what the, we're used to in the US. There were 10 seats. There were literally, no there are 12 seats but there was literally like no place to sit. You just had to stand. I mean our bus was empty so we got to sit. Yeah. But yeah I was like just thinking about the US and how our buses are huge. Yeah. Anyways. Is raining. We are not prepared. It doesn't rain at least once. It happened in Rome as well. Yep, and we had to buy a one pound. One euro. I keep saying pound. I actually need to stop. One euro umbrella. And it lasted for like two years. Yeah. We stopped for dinner because we walked around the Monte Vecchio um, and now we're in this restaurant for dinner. We wanted to go to a different restaurant but it ran out of food or something so now we're here and we really needed to be somewhere warm because it got cold. When we first got to Florence it wasn't cold but then it kept getting colder and colder and now it's raining. And so I like straightened my hair for no reason, so I just put it up because it just got curly again. Um, but I'm excited for food. The camera is camera. Is it really good? It's so good. Bye. Pretty sure that's the back of the Pitti Palace. We're on the other side of the Ponte Vecchio. And we're gonna get gelato. Yeah. This is her on my phone watching TikToks because she doesn't have her own. I'm so upset. <laughs> I need it. You don't understand. 
<laughs> and I don't even care because I don't use TikTok like that. So I'm just like, okay. It's like being cut off. <laughs> I'm curating your For You page to be my For You page. Yeah, because she says that my For You page isn't it doesn't good hit enough. at all. It sucks. We're back at the hotel room. We swiftly change into PJs. And we're in bed. And what time is it? It's like eight something.